All right, uh, this is Mondays with Mike, and I want to show you what's going on in the nursery. Yesterday we had a big wholesale auction here in Madison, Ohio. This thing happens every year. Um, you can search nursery stock auctions, Rhymehole Brothers Auction Company out of Transfer PA, I think. Get on their list because these auctions take place all the time. Anyway, I went yesterday, I went a little wacko. I spent about $2,700. So I've got all kinds of stuff. I got a bunch of variegated La uh, We'll probably dig, you know, probably divide those up and, and repot them, plant some. We're putting some landscape beds out here so we have a, a place for stock plants. Bought a bunch of sand cherry, there's hydrangea in here, there's peonies, fragrant riburnum, two or three different kinds of spirea. Uh, there's a couple of boxwood here, some weeping nuca cypress, all kinds of stuff. So, um, but a lot of this stuff we're going to use, put a, we're going to plant some of it to use as stock plants. Some of it will sell. The weeping cherries, I bought them. I paid 25 bucks. It's too much because they're not great, but they'll really, really enhance my ad a little bit. So we'll stop and jump over here. All right, now here, these are a bunch of hairy lovers, walking stick. I showed you these. We got these all potted up. These were growing out here in the ground for two years. They were about this big when I had when I bought them two years ago. So you can see that they've grown like weeds. This is more stuff that I picked up at the auction. There's another variety of daylily in here. Um, some uh, dwarf glow barbavita, barberry, a bunch of uh, pat passion purple coral bells, dwarf Alberta spruce, some more spirea. I also picked up about, I guess I got like five of these weeping Japanese maples. Um, these three are red dragon. Uh, these are, I can't pronounce it, Takakuri Mama, something like that. Uh, anyway, I, I don't remember, but I know I didn't pay anywhere more than like 25 to 30 bucks for these, so we can easily get $65 for these once they leave out. I'm going to show you the container area. All right, I'm in here. I've got a bunch of lavender twist red bud. These were in the ground for two years. We staked them upright to get some height to them. You can see that a lot of them have kind of a really crazy branching habit, but I like them that way. Uh, so we dug them, bare rooted them, and then we just healed them in the potting soil pile. We'll probably get those potted in the next couple of days here. We did the same thing. We've got a bunch of Japanese maples everywhere. Um, I just we just added this is 30 yards of bark mulch we just brought this in because we're going through potting soil like crazy these are orange dream uh, Japanese maples I bought these on a growers board these are uh, many Shanghai not something I'm super familiar with but I got those on the growers board a lot of this some of this stuff a lot of some a lot of this came from the growers board some came from heritage seedlings so a whole bunch of stuff over here because we're going to put in a container area you can see back there right here this pile of soil is what we took out of the container area because i dropped that down about uh where do we go we went eight inches just to get a little bit of a microclimate well, i can get away with that my soil drains really really well um, so you can see that we've got the container area started back there there's a propagation box that was right in the way and it's got cuttings in it so we just worked around it when we get the cuttings off and we'll go back in and get that thing out of there and use the rest of that area for containers. So anyway, that's an update with uh, what's going on at Mike's plant farm here in Perry, Ohio and uh, see you next Monday.